Victoria, a sex trafficking ring in Savannah broken up after the arrest of four suspects. A WJCL 22 News is AJ Sisson asking Savannah police why it took them years to make an arrest. Two years ago, the house, the alleged base of the trafficking, looked like this. Now, significant fire damage for an unknown reason. According to this indictment, the four suspects lived in this house here on West 39th Street. And according to a neighbor, police were called to this house multiple times for numerous public disruptions. The suspects are Michael Joseph Jones, Isabel Curl, Rylan Berkovitz, all arrested in Savannah, and Lexi Hedrick, arrested by the Wayne County Sheriff's Office, all within the last two weeks for two charges of sex trafficking, one of enticing a child for indecent purposes, and two of sexual exploitation of children among the ten they face. The indictment from Chatham County Superior Court says the alleged crimes took place between December 2020 and March 2021. The question is, why did it take years for an arrest? I asked Savannah police, they said in part, human trafficking cases are some of the most extensive cases we investigate. They often involve multiple agencies and detectives. These cases are considered long-term investigations. Savannah police says there could be more suspects. Mary's Place, formerly known as the Rape Crisis Center and helps victims of sexual trafficking and assault, said in a statement in part, the recent indictments of several child sex traffickers in the coastal empire is a positive step towards reducing sexual violence in our community. We stand with the survivors and are grateful for those who work tirelessly to hold the criminals accountable. As of Wednesday, none of the suspects are scheduled for a court hearing. In Savannah, AJ Sisson. WJCL 22 News.